Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different from our normal method of delivering content. So in the future, you won't have this little intro from me saying today's video is going to be different, but I wanted to introduce it for the first time around. Starting this month, once a month, we are going to be adding one bonus video and it's going to be a brain break video, <laughs> which means that our weekly content is pretty thought and thinking intensive. That's because I'm a very thinking intensive person and I'm inviting you into my life and my process with my work. So there's a lot that's always happening up in my brain with all my thoughts. But as such, I want to recognize that that's a lot for you as my audience to absorb on a weekly basis. And so we want to drop in a video once a month that's gonna be short, five minutes or less, that gives an insight into still an area of work or life for me, but that is maybe a little bit more subtle or poetic even in nature and in the way that it's filmed so that you can just have a short experience, more of a reflection and less of a like, here's questions to be asking or thinking about, or here's new terms or information, less educational and more reflective. All that being said, today's brain break video is what I wish I had known when I started this business. So this is a chance for me to actually reflect back a little bit on my own journey over the past six years and what that's been like in some serious and also some really lighthearted ways. So it was fun for me to do. I hope you enjoy it. This video is gonna be seven minutes long because you're getting this intro from me, but moving forward, five minutes or less, we'll see you here once a month for your happy little brain break. Subscribe, like, Thank you for being here. See you soon. This video is made with my past self in mind, my younger self who opened a restaurant the month after her 30th birthday. It is so present day Catherine can have compassion and understanding for the decisions and journeys the past six years have held, as well as hope for the future yet to come. This video is also made with you in mind. It is so your kind heart and pensive minds can maybe, just maybe, glean and grow from the things that I wish I had known, the things that have invariably left their mark on my worlds, both internal and external, for better and for worse. Here's to me, here's to you, here's to us. Number one, I wish that I had known that help was available to me if I had only asked. Pride is not worth a hungry, sleep deprived, and stressed out body. You can be tough, determined, and in need of support all at the same time. Being in debt to the generosity of those who love and care about you does not have to mean that you will be thought less of or taken advantage of. Letting others take care of you can be worth the risk, and the interest rates are significantly less than that of your credit card. Number two, you are privileged. Your skin color, your nationality, your financial standing, your family connection and ties, your education, They've all played a part in getting you to where you are today. Remember that, acknowledge that. Use what you've been given wisely and don't take credit for something that you have gained through a history of abuse, discrimination, and injustice. Remember where you came from and the shoulders that you are standing on. Number three, you will cry a lot. Angry tears, happy tears, overwhelmed tears, grief-laden tears, grateful tears, laughing so hard now I'm crying tears, tired tears. You will realize that your capacity for feeling is deeper than you previously thought, and you will be surprised at the moments that capture your attention and heart and that overcome you without any warning. Invest in sunscreen that doesn't drip into your eyes and mascara that doesn't run. Number four, wear mascara every day, even when you have a hat on and are back in the kitchen where you feel invisible. It will make you feel pretty and you will hold your head up with more confidence because of it. And you never know when you're going to forget a meeting or a photo shoot, so it's always better to be prepared. On that note, keep a backup mascara in your desk drawer, maybe some blush lipstick and foundation too. Number five, your team is valuable and so are you. Don't value yourself over your team, but don't value your team over yourself. There needs to be push and pull. Don't neglect yourself for the sake of your team. They need you just as much as you need them. You brought them together and you are in this together. Short term or long term, the value needs to flow both ways. Number six, speaking of flowing both ways, add some tampons to the list of items to keep in your desk drawer, period. Number seven, while we're at it, don't forget the protein bars and shakes. They will save your life time and time again. You feel better and you work better when you have eaten food that will nourish you. Don't get so busy cooking for everyone else that you forget to feed yourself. Also, walking makes your brain and body happy. 
do it daily, you will thank me, who after all is really you. Number eight, it won't always be this way. Whether it's a hard day or a cloud nine day, it won't always be like this. Do your best to stay in the present, soaking in and staying tender to the forces around you. Number nine, stick with therapy. You will need it, you will want it, even when you feel like you don't. And number 10, write thank you notes, the old fashioned kind. Don't let the art of a good card or letter die out with you or your generation. Keep it going, you will be glad you did. I'm sure there's more, but this seems like enough for now. Remember, you are also enough for now. You will grow, you will reach for your goals, you will miss some of them or realize they don't matter anymore, and some you will absolutely knock out of the park. In the words of Kevin McAllister from Home Alone, this is it, don't get scared now. Thank you.